Hello, oh, Martin Schmidt with Autodesk here. Um, have you ever run into the situation where you have hundreds, if not thousands, of warnings uh, regarding duplicate mark values? So you can see in this project there's nearly 1,200 warnings related to duplicate marks. To easily get rid of these, we can use the um, model review tools. And I've configured a model check and I've just called it clear mark values and, and what this does is just iterates through a variety of MEP categories checks to make sure that the mark value is empty and if not it issues a warning so you can see I have duct segments, duct fittings, pipe segments, pipe fittings air terminals, accessories, flux duct, flux pipe and mechanical equipment so to uh, clear these out I simply click on the fix icon here I need to do that for each category of element here. So I've gone through all the categories, fixed the issue, I can go ahead and close this, and now if I go back to my manage, review warnings, you'll see that all the duplicate mark value warnings are now gone. What this actually did was set the, the mark values of all those categories of elements to uh, an empty value, thereby making them non-duplicate course if you use the mark value in particular categories for information such as the mechanical equipment name or whatever the case may be you wouldn't want to clear out those categories but for general duct fittings pipe fittings accessories and so forth this should be a pretty straightforward way to get rid of those duplicate mark warnings so let's take a look at how the check was defined so I need to go into the manage utility and grab that clear mark values check and you'll see there's a rule in here for each category of element and there's two basic rules here one for system families such as duct segments and you'll see here that I just give it a name here the details you'll see that the element type in this case is duct built-in category you see is mark um, you'll see that it shows door number but this all model mark is, they're the same thing so it doesn't really matter which one you select. And then the other thing is you just fill in, in this box down here, just a space. And that will interpret that as an empty value. That's the same for duct segments and pipe segments and flex pipe and so forth. For fittings and accessories, it's a little bit different. Since these components are actually family instances, um, it's that element type is family instance. Again, it's going to be that mark value. Again, we're going to use the space there in the specify value box. And then the other thing with the family instance category that we need to do is go to the um, filter tab and just set a category equals, in this case, duct fittings, selected from the list. And you'll say I have a similar rule like that for duct fitting, pipe fitting, air terminal, pipe accessory, and mechanical equipment. So once you've defined those, you save your check file, you add it to the profile, and uh, you can run it as needed. The way that helps you deal with the duplicate mark warnings that uh, crop up when you're working in a work shared environment.